We're going to introduce an important concept as part of AVL trees now, this idea of a balance factor. The nice thing about balance factors is you have a mathematical, simple way of calculating whether a tree is in balance or not. Sometimes you're looking at it, you're not quite sure. You calculate the balance factors, you'll be sure. Once again, I'll say something I said earlier in a AVL tree in a steady state condition when everything is balanced, the balance factors is always going to be a member of this set. The balance factors can temporarily get as high as, th this by the way is my little symbol for, is an element of here. Uh, and the, it, temporarily the balance factors can get as low as minus two and as high as two but they should never get beyond those limits. We're going to talk about how to calculate balance factors. I've, sh I've drawn some binary search trees here. I've left the nodes empty because that's not really important for our discussion right now. And we're going to talk a little bit about how to calculate the balance factors. Balance factors are a property of each node. They're a property of each node. So every node has a balance factor. To calculate the balance factor, what you do is you look at the height of the left subtree and you subtract the height of the right subtree and that's the balance factor. So here, uh, let's look at the height of this node for example. Now there's a subtree right here and then there's another subtree right here. Now technically this is really the subtree here, this is not part of it, but most of the videos I have seen on the internet, they include this branch also just because it's just easy to do. So in other words, when I calculate the height of the left, I'm just going to count the edges. I'm just going to go 1, 2. That's going to be 2. And when I calculate the height of the right, I'm going to go 1, 2. That's also going to be 2. And so the balance factor for this node here is 0. I'm going to write that in with a different color like that. If I have a binary search tree, what is the balance factor of a leaf node? If I have a binary search tree, what is the balance factor of a leaf node? It's always zero. We agree that the leaf nodes always have a zero balance factor. So let's write those in right now. Okay, so the leaf nodes have a balance factor of zero. Let's calculate the balance factor of this node. What is the height here? How many edges? On the left hand side, how many edges are there? Zero. So this is going to be zero minus, and how many edges here? One. So what's the balance factor for this node? One. Zero minus one. Negative one. So that's the balance factor for this node right here. How about this one? What's the balance factor for this node? One. It's one minus zero, which is just one. Okay, so I've circled the balance factors now for each of these nodes. So it's 0, minus 1, 0, 0, and 1. Are all the balance factors for the nodes in the set that we want? They are. Therefore, this tree is in balance right now, so we don't have to do anything to it. Let's now calculate some balance factors here. So we can start off by mentioning that the nodes that are leaves have balance factors of 0. Please fill in the balance factors for the other three nodes now. Mr. Alejandro, sir, can you tell me what is the balance factor for the root node? Two. It's going to be 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2. So here is 1, 2, 3, and here's 1. See that? So that's going to be 2. And uh, let's see, who has not helped me yet today? Mr. Mulcahy, sir. What is the balance factor for this node right there? Negative two. Negative 2. It's 0 minus 2. And what is the balance factor over here for this node, Mr. Mariak? Oh, it just be one. It's just 1. Is this tree in balance? It may not be so obvious which three nodes we're going to need to do a rotate on, but as we get a little further in the lesson, it'll become obvious which one is the troublemaker and, and where we need to do the rotation. I will explain to you that we need to do the rotation here instead of here, but we'll get to that later. Please fill in the balance factors now for all the nodes in this tree. 
Okay, uh, let's see. Is there anyone who has not volunteered today? Mr. Moises, sir, can you tell me what are the balance factors for these uh, leaves right here? Okay, so those are all zero. And, sir, can you tell me what is the balance factor for this node right here, sir? Okay. How about this one? Uh, so looking at this one, sir, it's 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2. So this should be negative 1. And what would be the balance factor for the root node? Yes, miss? It will be 1 minus 1, 2, 3. So this would be 1 minus 3. So that's negative 2. Now let's talk a little bit about how we grow an AVL tree. Let's say that we have this sequence here, which is a sequence that we saw earlier today. And we want to maintain an AVL tree at all points. So first, we add the 30. And we have that. And what is the balance factor of the node? Yes, sir. It's zero because it's a leaf node. So now we know that we're in balance. So now we're going to add the 10. So we add the 10. Now, this is a leaf node now, so its balance factor is zero. What's the balance factor of the root node? Uh, yes, Mr. F, sorry? Yeah. It's one. What does it mean when a balance factor is one versus minus one? The, le the tree is starting to lean when the balance factor is one. Which direction is it starting to lean on when it becomes a 1? OK, Mr. Frenovic? It's starting to lean to the left. If it becomes a minus 1, it's starting to lean to the right a little bit. So now we have to add the 20. So to add the 20, we're going to come over here. And then we're going to say it's going to be right here. So we have to now recalculate the balance factors. The balance factor for this leaf node is still 0. Mr. Alejandro, what is the balance factor here, sir? Uh, negative 1. This is going to be negative 1. And how about this one, sir? Yeah. 2. Now, here is the entire key to the AVL process. We inserted here. We inserted the 20. So we start there. And we're going to start there, and we're going to head towards the root. And as we head towards the root, we're going to check each node along the way to see if any of them have gone out of balance. Here we can see that the starting point is in balance. Is this in balance? It is, because it's in that range of minus 1, 0, and 1, which are all acceptable values. So we're still good here. Then when we get to here, now we encounter a node which has a balance factor of 2. We realize now we are out of balance. So now we need to do a rotation. Well, we're going to rotate on these three nodes. In this example, there are only three nodes. But try to understand that there could be a whole tree up here. right? We wouldn't care. So all we know is that we started here. And as we're heading on the way up, we encounter a node that is unbalanced. And so now we need to do a rotation. So now I need you to discuss with your partner what would be the name of the rotation that we need to do here. Mr. Nikita, sir, what kind of rotation are we going to need here? We're going to need an LR rotation. You can see there's an LR imbalance, right? We're going to need an LR rotation. What I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to do a two-step rotation here. Show me each step along the way, and what does the tree look like when it's finished? You try that out now. We're going to rotate it this way first, and then we're going to rotate it that way next. What does the tree look like after the first rotation? Mr. Adil, sir, can you tell me what will the tree look like after the first of the two rotations? This is after the first rotation. And sir, what will it look like after the second rotation? So you can see that by doing a two-step rotation here, I was able to bring the tree back into balance. 